Hey, what's going on guys? It's BrainBean here again, back with something a little bit different for you. Now, I was a little bit late in getting this video out there, so you guys are probably already aware that Razer yesterday announced their Razer Respawn uh, gaming drink. Uh, but today what I'm going to do for you is they sent over a little media kit for me, uh, which essentially has all of the flavors to try, as well as a sample of their aluminum shaker and some promotional coasters. So essentially what we're going to do is more of just a taste test of all the different flavors, because realistically, I'm not a food scientist, I'm not a doctor, and I can't really talk too much about if or if it is or isn't going to work for you. Uh, but I can definitely tell you if it does taste good or not. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and take a look at what you get with Razor Respawn and uh, talk about kind of what it is a little bit. So what it isn't uh, is it is not an energy drink. Uh, Respawn is not meant to be like a Red Bull replacement or monster or anything like that. Uh, it's what they're calling a mental uh, performance drink. Uh, so it's essentially made to help make you a little bit more aware uh, when you're playing games, a little bit more alert. Uh, improve your coordination that sort of thing um, like I said I'm not really going to talk about if or if it doesn't uh, kind of you know go into that uh, but let's go ahead and jump into what flavors they have available and how much it costs so razor respawn is launching in four different flavors the first of which is pomegranate watermelon the second is tropical pineapple you also have green apple and blue raspberry and these four flavors are available in these little boxes of 20. And it's made to be pretty easy. So essentially you get uh, 20 packets in a box and you pull one of these packets out and it's designed to be able to fill a standard size shaker bottle, fill that up with water, pour the packet in there, shake it up and you're ready to go. So pretty easy uh, compared to some of the other energy gaming drinks like the one I did a um, while back on the channel actually came in a big jar and you had to like measure it and pour it into it and all that. This is definitely a little bit easier and cleaner. So I do like that they have it in these packets. And in terms of price, uh, right now, a box of 20 respawn drinks is gonna be 25 bucks. So it's a little bit more than a dollar per drink, but when you compare that to something that you might drink while you're gaming, um, like for me personally, I like to drink Red Bull normally when I'm editing or playing games, and that's like $2.50 a can. So it's definitely uh, a good improvement in the price there. Um, they also offer the shaker for 30, and then you can get it with the, um, the box of 20, plus the shaker for 55 bucks. So that bundle isn't essentially any discount, but uh, if you wanna buy both and have them, it's gonna run you 55 bucks. But enough of that. Let's get into the taste test because that's what I am most interested to see if this tastes good or not because I have tasted other drinks like this before and I have not liked them. So um, let's go ahead and rip one of these open. I'm gonna use these little glasses to uh, kind of show you the drink. And I'm only gonna put about half in there because that's about half the size. So the first one, this is pomegranate watermelon. All right, so pomegranate watermelon, you can see it's kind of got this like watermelon color. Um, smells really good. Smells actually really good. It smells like a starburst. But all right, let's give this a shot. Whoa. It tastes really good. Uh, it's got like very subtle taste of like a vitamin taste. Nothing like the other um, drink that I had tried like that. I mean, and the aftertaste is very good. It, there's not any like weird uh, medicine-y taste to it or anything like that. Yeah, it's really good. It tastes like Kool-Aid almost. Like um, it's sour. It definitely like got that pine pomegranate watermelony like tastes like one of those tropical starbursts i guess is the best way to describe it all right but let's move on um pomegranate watermelon definitely a thumbs up for me i would definitely drink that it tastes really good i cannot get these boxes open though i wanted to try to keep it nice to film but i'm like tearing these things open all right forget it i already shot the b-roll <laughs> i don't need to worry about it all right, so tropical pineapple. Let's try this one out. So as we would expect, 
a nice uh, yellow color there for the pineapple. This one just smells like straight up pineapple mixed with like candy. It tastes like pineapple juice. It tastes really good. I'm surprised a little bit so far in like how drinkable these are. It doesn't taste like an energy drink, which I know it's not an energy drink, but it doesn't, it doesn't give me that like, like that feeling with some drinks where you're like, I just got to get through it, you know, like a, like a gnarly protein shake or something like that, where you're just like, I got to get it into me because I need the benefits, but it, it's more of just like a, like a Gatorade or something that, you know, you could just feel like you could just keep drinking it and it's um, not something you feel like you need to wash down with some water or anything like that. So let's get into the green apple. Feel free to tell me how terribly I'm opening these two. All right. Green apple is, the powder looks pink, that's weird, okay. Let's put some water in there. I do not like green apple in general. So we'll see how this goes. I feel like this should be like the flagship flavor for them. The razor green and all. It actually does have that nice kind of neon green. Now another thing that's worth mentioning is it says on the box not to have more than three servings in a day. So three packets in a day. Um, so essentially a box of 20 is almost gonna last you a week if you pound these things nonstop. Most likely, probably not, but let's give the uh, green apple a try. It smells like fierce green apple. Uh, reminds me of like those, uh, oh, what is that candy? I can't even remember now. Uh, I'm not gonna drag it out for that, but like it's just very nostalgic smell to me as like a little kid, like a gummy candy. Super sour, very sour. Very green apple-y. For, for green apple, it's good. If you like green apple, you'll probably like it. I personally do not like anything green apple flavored, but uh, it doesn't have, um, none of these have had like any of that weird vitamin aftertaste or like medicine-y or anything like that. So that's good. All right, last one is blue raspberry. Smells good, smells like blueberry. Blue raspberry, rather. It's good. Uh, it's like a little bit sour, and there's definitely some blue raspberry taste to it. There's something a little bit weird to me on this one. I, I don't know, it's something a little bit weird on that one. So, all right, here, after I've tasted all four, now I'm gonna go ahead and just rank them, the best tasting one, to my preference, to the one that I dislike the most. Um, but let's go ahead and get this out of here. All right, so number one for me is definitely pomegranate watermelon. Tastes really good. Uh, it's got just, it just tastes like a tropical starburst, nothing really weird going on in there. Uh, second for me is probably the pineapple. If you like drinking like pineapple juice or like pineapple soda, you're gonna love the pineapple flavored one. Uh, third for me would be the blue raspberry. Doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste like a blue raspberry drink like I would expect it to. There's just something a little bit weird to it. Like either it's a little bit too tart on the aftertaste or something like that. Just for me personally, it's a, a little bit weird. And then for me, I dislike, like I said, I dislike green apple in general, I just do not like it. So for me, it's at the end. But if you like green apple, then I would definitely put it before the blue raspberry. So just kind of take that for what you will. So overall guys, in terms of it just being a drink that you could consume, like I said, I'm not gonna speak to the performance enhancing applications for this stuff at all because I'm not a doctor, I don't do food science, and I'm just not gonna tell you one way or the other. Um, but in terms of drinkability and for what it costs, uh, if you're somebody that likes to drink energy drinks while you're playing games or Gatorade or G Fuel or any of those types of things, I think the price for what you get for a drink per 
uh, shaker bottle full is pretty decent and the taste is certainly the best that I've tried of any of these kinds of drinks. So I can definitely recommend it to you. And it's gonna be up to you guys to decide if you think the performance enhancing properties are gonna see any benefit there for you. But I want you guys to let me know down in the description below what you think about Razor's April Fool's joke turned gaming drink respawn and game on and all that great stuff so let me know down there in the comments guys of course if you enjoyed this video you can give it a like to show your support and if you're new here on the channel i would certainly love to see you subscribe as i've got a lot more hardware related videos and probably not that many more uh, refreshment related videos coming for you in the near future but as always guys thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next one uh -huh.